what would you do in this scenario? So there's a builder, it's doing a loft conversion, and we'd be called in to do the first fix. And um, fine, we do the first fix, but I let them know to say, look, you're putting a TV on that wall, you're gonna need to put some more struts in there to hold the TV up because you can't just fix it to plasterboard. It will fall out sooner or later over time. I know that TVs are quite light these days, but you want to put something in there that's gonna be a bit more sturdy. Hold that TV up. Yep, yeah, fine, we'll do that later, no worries. It's okay, we do the first fix, but then we go back for second fix. And they said, yeah, we put um, some more struts in there to hold the TV up. We had to move some of the cables. Oh, it always turns into a bit of a nightmare. Where did you move them? What did you do? We just pulled them out and put them back where we found them. Hopefully, that was the case. But, just in case, before you do your second fix, you bail them out to make sure that remains still in there. It's not. They've just completely faffed up your wiring and it's not going to work. You need to pull the pulls back off to be able to configure the wiring. Once again, basically do your first fix in that wall once again. And it's been blasted, it's been painted. They're ready for second fix, they're getting excited that they can put the TV up. You can't let them know that there's a problem and where you move the cables. And the thing is, the builders, they're confident. And they say, no, 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 we moved them exactly where they were. Well, I can prove to you you didn't because it's not belling out. You must have done it wrong in the first place. I don't go wrong, mate. I don't do things wrong. I wouldn't do it wrong because <laughs> it's not work. But they've got it in their head that you've done it wrong and they're trying to blame you because obviously they don't want to take that plasterboard off. They don't want to take all that boarding off where they've skimmed it, plastered it, painted it, ready for second fix, all excited that it's going to get done that day. So it's really a bit of a tricky scenario. These things happen on site, but who do you reckon to blame? And how would you go go about it to explain to the customer that yeah we've got to start from scratch?